Today I want to show you guys how to do this cool camera shake effect in After Effects, so let's jump straight into it. I get all my assets from Envato Elements, I have a link in the description if you want to check them out. So what we want to do is we want to animate this logo, it hits the background and then the camera just shaking as soon as it hits. Just change the name to logo and this to background. We're going to make them first 3D layers because we're going to need that later. Click on this drop down of our logo, come to transform and let's go forward 10 frames click our scale animation and then come back 10 frames and then let's scale this baby all the way up to that point and we're just going to shorten it to about five frames now if i play through this animation stretch it out a bit that's okay maybe stretch it out a bit more and what i'm going to do i'm going to add some flow onto this that looks all right so at this point where the logo hits the background, what we're going to do is have our camera shake. So we're going to right click, come to new and say camera, 35 mil is okay. You can do a two note camera and then we're going to right click, click on new and null object. So at this point, we want to click on our null object, which is going to be our controller. So I'm just going to end this to control and click P on your keyboard to bring up the position properties. Then hold down option or alt on your keyboard and click. This is going to bring up some expression properties. And what we're going to do now is we're going to type in the following expression, wiggle. Wiggle, open your brackets. And inside of the brackets, you have two numbers. The first number is going to be how many times per second the wiggle is going to occur. And the second number is going to be the amount of pixels that your object can move up to a certain amount. So if you put in 10, uh, comma 50 what that means is that it is going to wiggle 10 times per second so it's going to move quite quickly and up to 50 pixels it's going to go anywhere between 0 and 50 pixels and let me show you what that looks like if I play through it's moving up to 50 pixels 10 times a second and if I change that to one, it's going to be a lot slower because it's only wiggling one time per second. That's basically how the wiggle expression works. But let's get back to our project. At this point where the logo hits, this is where we want the camera shake to occur. So we come up to effects and presets and we are going to add a slider. Drag that onto your controller. What we're going to do is we're going to come back to our wiggle expression and take out the second number. Make sure you click just after the comma. And now we're going to click on this little pick whip expression and we're going to click hold and drag it all the way up to our slider and you're going to let go on slider what that's going to do it's going to allow us to now use the slider to change our second number which is the amount of pixels that the object is going to move and now we can animate it which is great so at this point as it hits i'm going to start an animation move one two frames and push the slider all the way up to 90 and then go a few more frames ahead and pull it all the way back down to zero but nothing's going to happen yet because we need to parent the control to the camera so you're going to come to this camera layer here click on this click and hold on this pick whip and pull it up to the controller and let go and now if we play through it the animation is going to occur as soon as it hits the background and you can play around with these settings until it looks good uh, what I would suggest, as you can see here, it's wiggling a bit too much and you can see some black area on the left. And then all you got to do is come down to your background and just scale that up in order that it covers the whole area so you don't see any black areas. And then lastly, what you can do is you can click on this motion blur button over here in order to add some motion blur just to give it a bit of realism. And you can do some really cool things with this effect. So we could create some suspense with the slider animation. So I have this video of this bomb that is gonna go off at zero and I wanna create a bit of suspense and build it up. Firstly, make sure I pull in my slider controller. Then I hit P on my keyboard, come down to the position keyframe, hold Alt and click and then type in wiggle. Let's go with 10 again, comma. And at this point, don't forget to drag your pick whip all the way up to your slider. And now we can animate this. So let's add three seconds. We'll start our animation, pull it up and at zero, it's just going to go crazy. Don't forget to hit S to pull up the scale. And then if you want to, you can add some motion blur just to give it that little bit of realness right at the end and boom. And you can do many things with this wiggle effect. If you want to see a video of how you can use this wiggle effect in order to replicate handheld footage, I've made a video about that and you can check that one out over there. Awesome.